What is up you guys, my name is Apprentai and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect old fashioned. Now this is a drink that you don't typically order at a busy bar um, unless you are prepared to wait for it because it does take like between 6 to 10 minutes to make. Um, it is very labour intensive as well. However what we'll be using or what you'll be needing to make this is some Angostura bitters, a bourbon of your choice, we are using Jim Bean. You need some brown sugar, now you can use sugar syrup but I'm going to stress that it does not make it taste as well as it can if you use sugar syrup. Brown sugar is one you want to be using. You also want an orange, and um, this one has already been peeled because I'm trying to get ahead of time, but from that you want two nice bits or big bits of peel um, with all the, sort of the white rind taken off. That's it, that's all you need. Before we start, make sure you guys drink responsibly and let's get on with it. Right, before we do anything, obviously you want to prepare your orange, that's the first thing you want to do. So you get sort of big bits of rinds like this. I'm going to cut this one actually in half because it is massive and it's far too big. So we've got bits like that, that is perfect. Then we're going to uh, measure out our, our Jim Bean. Uh, or Jim Bean bourbon. As I said, you can use any bourbon you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend using Jack Daniels though. Um, it just spoils the taste a bit. And what I've done is I've just measured two full shots into a, into a shot glass just to make it easier for me to, to distribute out. So, have your glass here. The first thing you want to do is you want to get a bar spoon uh, of sugar. Um, just a small one. Um, there we go. And then put that bottom of your glass. Um, better to use a rocks glass. Once you've done that, you want to get your Angostura bitters. And then you want to have one, two dash like that. In there. Now we've got that, you want to add some ice. So luckily I have some ice in here. So it's one, two, three cubes will do just now. One bit of your orange peel, stick it in there. Then you want to add about a quarter of your bourbon. So that'll do. That's why I put it in here so it's easy to measure out. So it's about a quarter in there. You want to get your bar spoon in here and then you want to stir this for a minute. Uh, keep going uh, until a minute's time's up. You can cheat to speed it up by holding the glass and warming it up. But um, I like to do it this way. So a minute stirring. And I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so once you stir for a minute, as you can see from mine, one ice cube is completely, completely dissolved. You want to add another quarter of your bourbon in there. Um, that was a wee bit too much, but never mind. Then you want to add another part of your orange peel. You want to add some more ice again. All right, there we are. This time you want to be stirring for two minutes. Um, and I'll get back to you guys once I've done that. Okay, once that's done, you want to add your last bit of uh, orange peel. You're going to add some more ice again, and um, big ice works better for this, so I'm going to put that in there. And then you want to add the last of your uh, your bourbon in there. And now once you've done that, you're going to be stirring again for another two minutes. So this is probably why you want to use a bar spoon, just because it's got the spirals, so you can literally just like spin it around your finger, just like that makes it really nice and easy to spin. There we go, that's my uh, my other two minutes. And as you can see, it's obviously the liquid's gone from down there to all the way up there. Now you want to add some more ice, the last bits of your ice anyway. And there, just to fill up a wee bit more, I just want to now you just want to slowly just mix it around. You don't want the ice to melt too much now. Okay, so once you're done, now you want to add your garnish. And uh, garnish for this is an orange segment. So probably the best way to do it is like this. And um, um, like there we go. Now with your orange segment, what you want to do is you want to get your Angostura bitters and just lace it on one side and then the other side. Stick it in. And there we have it, the perfect old fashioned. So there we have it, your perfect old fashioned. Now hopefully your customer appreciates all the time and effort that goes into making one of these. If they drink them then, they usually do. Um, but here we go, here's the taste. Beautiful, sitting one of these, like literally sitting, sipping one of these in front of the fire is absolutely fantastic. You get the warm bourbon, uh, like sort of glow in your stomach, because all it basically is, um, or the only spirit in it is bourbon, it's like just kind of like bourbon, water, sugar, uh, and bitters, aromatic bitters, which is uh, what it is. The orange peel gives it, or the orange gives it a sort of a really nice flavour and brings out all the the beautiful spices in the, the Angostura bitters, but I really enjoy this. I'm going to finish this now, and hopefully you guys make one too. Anyway guys, hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash the like button if you must and greatly appreciate it. If we could hit 100 likes, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you have any cocktail suggestions for next time, please make sure you let me know what they are in the comment section down below. Feel free to go check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and my gaming channel. Links to all of them will be in the description down below. Other than that guys, until next time, I've been the Brent and I'll see you all soon.